Ned Fulmer, an internet personality that was so defined by his relationship with his wife, my 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 wife, is now defined by the way he scorned her. But just as the storm Ned stirred appeared to be coming to a calm, old videos forecast troubles ahead. All right, Ned, you little liar. And new allegations are picking up wind. This rough weather begs the question, was this former Try Guys affair a mistake or a pattern that dates back further than anyone realizes? Before we get into the story, we'd like to thank our sponsor for today's video, Raid. Raid Shadow Legends is what happens when you combine a blockbuster movie with a triple-A game and then squeeze it into a mobile phone. Here are our top three reasons to play Raid. 1. Experience the stunning dark fantasy universe in the world of Teleria, where you'll play as one of the many warriors brought back to life to stop the Arbiter, Teleria's immortal guardian. 2. The turn-based combat system is the perfect way to put your thinking skills to the test. 3. You can play with other Raid fans across the world. On top of all that, it's free to play, has over 650 unique champions to collect, and billions of ways to customize and build your champions. You can play casually or competitively by taking on real players in the PvP battles. All the time you invest in the game won't go to waste. There's endless content with new champions and updates every single month. This month, there's a ton of new features including a brand new dungeon and the introduction of Artifact Ascension. Battle through the Sand Devil's Necropolis and earn the precious oil needed to take your artifacts to the next level. There's new champions being added to the mix too, including some really cool holiday champions to get into the festive spirit. The Bastion's even been decorated to look all wintry too. Raid's got something extra special happening now. They've released a legendary champion based off MMA and pro wrestling legend Ronda Rousey that you can get for free right now, whether you're a new or longtime player. All you've got to do is log in and play Raid for 7 days between now and February 20th. You can also enter code RAIDRONDA for extra goodies like XP boosts, silver, and energy refills. Also, if you're an Amazon Prime member, you can get exclusive rewards in Raid right now. And if you haven't started playing Raid yet, click our link in the description or scan our QR here on the screen. You'll get unique bonuses worth $30. We're talking about a free epic champion, Aina, 200k silver, 1 energy refill, 1 XP boost, and 1 ancient shard so you can summon awesome champions as soon as you get in-game. All this treasure will be waiting for you here, available for 30 days for new players only. And once you're in-game, come find us under the name Spill Tea, and if you're fast enough, you can join my clan! Few people possess a love so grand it can soften the hearts of online cynics, inspire its own genre of content, and withstand any trials sent its way. They're always for me. They're always for you. But the marriage of Ned and Ariel Fulmer appeared to have had that one in a million kind of romance, until a recent viral scandal shattered that illusion for good. Ned had stepped out on Ariel with his engaged employee, Alex Herring, detonating his image, his friendships, and his career in the process. Feels like a, a death, not in that dramatic of a sense, but of a, a loss, of something mm -hmm. that you loved and you thought you knew, and now it is potentially forever tainted. Yet as videos and statements were released on the situation, it appeared those involved were ready to breathe a sigh, or a shriek, <laughs> of relief. By now, it's clear a new era of the Try Guys is officially upon us and the recently downsized group has proven they're a trio prepared to stand their ground in the face of SNL spoofs. Like, you know, people are like, oh, even SNL is like, oh, his, his bro had a little smooch. And I'm like, that's not what Don't okay. it, fucking get out. Okay, <laughs> fine, I'm just, I'm just gonna keep it clamped down. I'm just gonna not say anything, I'm gonna do it right. And freely speak their minds, whether that involves throwing shade. We actually did meditation as part of the Try Guys book that we wrote. Keith, can I borrow some butter? What are you gonna give me? A, a kiss on the cheek? Mmm, not in this climate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna use two sticks. So I'm making daddy. <laughs> Pop tart! Or being vulnerable with their audience about the events of September 2022. It's the night of Monday, September 26. Not sharing that date for any particular reason. Hey, Keith, you want to meditate? Oh, sure, <laughs> Zach. I'd love that. And it seems the transition has paid off, 
as viewers have welcomed the Nedless Try Guys with open arms. But not everyone is involved in the channel's new chapter. For one, it appears Alex is no longer working for the Try Guys as of early October, and even fellow food baby YB Chang is not as present in the channel's videos. I'm working from home, so I haven't been really around the drama too much. It's been okay. And this brought up another question. What would happen to the future of the food babies? On November 2nd, YB Chang provided an answer in a Q&A style video. I think this year the guys are gonna just focus on um, their content and maybe next year I hope I can be in some more videos. I really don't know. She was hopeful this wasn't the end of her time on the Try Guys channel. Well, never know, maybe we'll come up with a different show. But as those directly and indirectly swept into Ned's scandal attempt to move on, there was one force that remained at a standstill, the internet. See, the details surrounding Ned's affair still remained murky. How deep had his and Alex's relationship truly gone? Were the Try Guys as oblivious to Ned's cheating as they seemed? Was Alex the only person Ned had strayed with? Or were there other skeletons in the former Try Guys closet? These were the questions the internet was intent on answering. And one Reddit user's unconventional methods may have provided virtual detectives with their biggest clue yet. It all started with paparazzi footage of the Fulmers from the end of September. Working on working things out. But it wasn't the status of Ned and Ariel's marriage that caught the internet's attention. It was what glinted in the light as they drove off, their license plate number. A Reddit user decided to Google the plate number, a whim that paid off big time. Their search led them to a tweet from May 18th, 2022, that included a screenshot of a post from Nextdoor, an app used to connect neighbors, or in this case, alert them. The post reported the occupants of a car with the same license plate number were getting intimate at 545 in the Hancock Park neighborhood of Los Angeles, while kids and families were in the vicinity. For Try Guys fans, the location might ring a bell. Zach, where we at? Today we are in Hancock Park in Los Angeles and we're gonna be spending the day living in a $22 million mansion. Yep, Hancock Park was the setting for a Try Guys video that followed Zach, Maggie, and Quasi a video that was posted just seven days after the tweet linked the Fulmer license plate to the same neighborhood. Still, it appeared Ned wasn't a part of the video. Was it possible this was all just one big coincidence? It was a theory that could have held weight until the doorbell rang. Hello. Hey guys! <laughs> Ned and Alex had not only joined the gang, but arrived together. With that, any hope fans had that it could have been Ariel in the car had all but evaporated. And when viewers looked at it rationally, the poorly thought out nature of this hookup didn't exactly scream married couple. They have a house with a bed. Would they really be getting it on in public? Not to mention the timing is right after most people finish work for the day. And if it was Ned and Alex in that car, their indiscretion spoke volumes to viewers. This says one of two things. One, no one will stop me and I'm not concerned about the consequences because they don't apply to me. Or two, I am out of control and I need someone to stop me because I can't stop myself. Either way, it's risk-taking behavior. And something Ariel had mentioned on the You Can Sit With Us podcast hosted by the Try Wives now struck fans as suspicious. On episode 78, Ariel spoke about how she and Ned had unintentionally fallen into traditional gender roles since having kids. As the mother, I, you know, I sort of take on the, the bulk of the responsibility for the kids. To explain this, Ariel described an experience where she and Ned went to the office to do PR for their cookbook. We drove our, our cars separately here because I think I had, you know, I probably had a podcast in the morning or something like that. Both of us were done for the day. Mm -hmm. And at, you know, 4.30, I'm like, okay, I need to go home so that I can be home when then, when, you know, to mm -hmm. take care of the kids. And Ned's like, oh, okay, I'll see you in like an hour and a half. I was like, why? Why don't I stay here and <laughs> do work and... Mm -hmm. and, I, and I'll see you in an hour and a half. You know, it was just yeah. such an interesting yeah. thing. I it didn't even occur to me. It didn't even mm -hmm. occur to him either. While Ariel shared the anecdote to illustrate the way she and Ned had changed during parenthood, the implications were now more sinister. Was it really work that required his attention? Or was it someone else? Another episode of You Can Sit With Us led viewers to a working theory as to why Ned might have used his car for the alleged early evening hookup over a hotel room. Like, I track Ned on Find My Friends all the time. I'm like, you know, like, where is he? <laughs> I love that we're talking about our kids, and you're yeah. like, where's Ned? If Ariel checked Ned's location that day, he would have been at Hancock Park, exactly where he was supposed to be for work. As one Reddit user wrote, 
So instead of cheating at a secluded area, he had intercourse with Alex after work, within the hour, in his car, in parks with families walking by. He knew Ariel checks his location, so he has to do it somewhere where it can go undetected. If all of this was true, Ned approached cheating like a true professional, which perhaps he was. Dumois was a popular place to expose the alleged details of Ned Fulmer's philandering. Dumois is a celebrity gossip Instagram account that receives anonymous tips. But due to the anonymity and lack of further evidence, it's hard to know which tips are real or fake. However, the owner of Dumois claimed she received tips that Harry Styles and Olivia Wilde were a couple, and Kim and Kanye were getting divorced before those stories made it into mainstream media. So, people were really intrigued by the tips submitted about Ned. One tipster alleged Ned had stepped out on his marriage with more women than just Alex, and for much longer than people realize. Another source alleged Ned and Alex's affair also had a larger history than the public realized. They alleged Alex's former fiance, Will Thayer, first discovered the affair in December 2021. Will went through Alex's phone and saw her and Ned had hooked up while on some work trip. Will and Alex ended up staying together, but Will reached out to Ned warning him to back off, the anonymous source alleged. Things would worsen by September 2022. September 1st or 2nd, Will and Ned's wife Ariel received videos and pictures from a few people showing Ned and Alex making out at a club as well as holding hands during the day at a market in NYC. Ariel had just landed in NYC to meet up with the Try Guys and their SOs but got the news, the anonymous source alleged. A Redditor later corroborated this with a screenshot of Ariel's Instagram story that showed the wife was flying with at least one of her children to meet Ned. Ned allegedly broke the news during this NYC trip. Ariel confronted Ned and when he confirmed him and Alex had been in a relationship for almost a year, she got back on a plane and came back to LA immediately, the anonymous source alleged. Following this, the source alleged Ned and Alex were suspended. However, the Try Guys have publicly revealed Ned went under review and remained silent about Alex's position. The source also claimed employees knew something was up with Ned's behavior. Employees noticed flirting, knew they had lunch hookups, stayed at each other's places occasionally, and showed up to events together, example Harry Styles concert, and had big feels something was up. So this news has been aware to the Try Guys for close to a month, the source alleged. Another tipster had more to say about the environment at the Try Guys office at the time, alleging, employees are really upset with how the internal review played out. Several people have left and refused to sign NDAs because they are angry how they were dragged into the drama. The company was going to keep it a secret until the fiance leaked pictures. The internal review was to try and have employees cover his image. And according to this source, it wasn't just the employees who knew about the affair. The rest of the guys knew he was cheating just with someone else. The one he was caught cheating with will have a lot to say, and her friends who left the company will be speaking up about how it all went down. It's not so black and white. But, as it goes with anonymous sources, these allegations can contradict one another. Another source that claimed to be an employee claimed the other guys did not know and were not covering for Ned at all. The source alleged the Try Guys had been doing everything they could, from launching an internal review to suspending Ned while trying to remain respectful to his wife and their employees. According to the source, Eugene, Keith, and Zach were disgusted and surprised by what they had learned. And then there were further allegations that this affair was by no means Ned's first rodeo. One source alleged, He's always been like this and I can confirm that someone else might be coming forward because there have been other former employees and former co-workers for BuzzFeed that know things and have experienced. There are a lot of things about Ned that will spill in the next few days. But if Ned had previous flings, why were none of these women coming forward? Well, it's possible one already had, albeit anonymously. With the straight to the point subject line, Ned Fulmer, longtime serial cheater, one tipster claimed to be familiar with the former Try Guy, intimately. They alleged, In early 2016, I had just turned 21 and was doing stupid stuff. I sent Ned Fulmer a selfie of me on Snapchat. He responded asking for more, and this went on for a few months. He was coming to Miami with the Try Guys and wanted to meet up one-on-one. -on -one. I ended up declining. I'm positive this is just the first girl he's been caught with. As it turns out, the Try Guys were in Miami in 2016, and Ned had been known to post stories on his public Snapchat that could be viewed as thirst traps or, at the very least, attention-grabbing. Could the husband have been looking to entice his fans? Perhaps the source had just done their research, or perhaps they were telling the truth. Even when these allegations eventually die down, 
Ned's Tainted Legacy remains an online exhibit that fans can scroll through whenever they please. That's the double-edged sword of the internet. It eternalizes you and your mistakes. Looking back, Try Guys videos are ripe with not-so-HR-friendly declarations from Ned. I'm the fun food daddy. Unintentional foreshadowing. These lips don't kiss and tell until they do on a video. And innocent words turn sinister with time. Miss Ned. <laughs> Even emotionally vulnerable moments are seen in a new light after the affair. In a video from 2017 where the Try Guys shaved their father's faces, there was advice Ned's father gave him that viewers couldn't help but wish Ned had taken. The fatherly guidance came after Ned's dad revealed his relationship with his son's mother had been on again, off again in its early phases. I, yeah, I had no idea that you broke up with my mom before. Well, I was an idiot. In the end, Ned's father realized his pursuit of other women was fruitless, given his connection with Ned's mom. I thought I needed to date other people for a while, and I did, and it just wasn't, wasn't the same. And while Ned's father claimed having children only strengthened his bond with Ned's mother, his son wasn't so certain parenthood would have the same effect on himself and Ariel. I worry that having a kid will be so challenging that it'll dress our relationship in a way that I don't know if we're ready for. Ned's father proceeded to bestow his son with some words of wisdom. You're not going to be ready. Yeah. You don't. You're going to have to just like work it out. One viewer speculated Ned's fears had become a reality. I wonder if having two kids did stress their relationship like he feared. But cheating is never, ever, ever the answer, Ned. He really should have known better and learned to communicate stronger. It seemed there was no shortage of material that had developed an ironic twist in the wake of Ned's cheating scandal. Whether it was a best boss competition where Ned placed last. With only two points, that oh, leads you. No. With the world's <laughs> no. worst possible. <laughs> Like this at all. Or a poorly conceived metaphor for a good vegetarian option from a food truck. A salad that like cheats on its wife, you know? Uh -oh. <laughs> Viewers couldn't help but look back on the past with the knowledge of the present. And it was hard not to, especially when the Try Guys were known for multiple lie detector videos that put Ned in the hot seat. All right, Ned, you little liar. And supplied statements that could so easily be tied to modern allegations. For example, did this admission mean Ned was capable of communicating with that alleged fan in Miami? Do you ever respond to DMs from fans? Not usually. Or if not the girl in Miami, could another fan have caught the married man's attention? Do you like being called daddy by our fans? Mm. No. Ned was quick to protest, but was the husband protesting too much? I didn't have a clear read. So maybe sometimes yes, sometimes no. No. Depending on the fan. No. Maybe depending on the fan. No. And lie detector videos prompted viewers with another question. Was Keith as oblivious to Ned's infidelity as he seemed? Looking back at this video now, it seems like Keith was trying to tell us about Ned's cheating. Keith knew. But others were less convinced there was any deeper meaning to the answers or questions. Hindsight is 2020, guys. Don't read too much into this here. There's nothing going on, just guys having fun. Still, viewers couldn't help but view the supposed revelations from these videos as eye-opening. You and Ariel are so cute together. Is any of it just for show? Yeah, sure. Telling. Do you think now that you're married, you have a better marriage than me? I think mine's more realistic. <laughs> True. And incriminating. Ned, are there any secrets that you're hiding from us? <laughs> Don't think so. That's a lie. Oh boy. Of course, viewers weren't just analyzing Ned's behavior alone, but also his interactions with his office-based paramour, Alex, an employee who Ned might have played a hand in hiring. He actually hired a lot of the people at BuzzFeed that are BuzzFeed stars now. Like basically anybody that came after the like Ashley, Andrew, Keith, Eugene, uh -huh. that sort of thing, he probably hired them. Alex started at BuzzFeed in 2015, just after the major players had been hired. And by 2018, she had jumped ship for second try, where she no doubt began working more closely with Ned. One user theorized they probably developed feelings in 2019-2020. Ariel was pregnant in 2020. And by May 2021, Alex was engaged to longtime boyfriend Will Fair. The Try Guys even inserted themselves in the then upcoming nuptials by picking out potential bridesmaids dresses for Alex. And when Alex gave the guys a particular store to buy the dresses from, you have to get it from the store Beholden. It was Ned who seemed to take the task more seriously than the other Try Guys. Beholden. Beholden. From the building. 
build it downtown. Beholden. I don't know that store, but that I love the specific direction. Thank you, Alexandria. But the former Try Guy and Alex had little to say to each other on camera. A beach wedding, it seems like you're like, you may get really hot, mm -hmm. but you look really hot, so. Thank you. <laughs> it's surprisingly breathable. One viewer pointed out the awkwardness, commenting, Seven months ago, I thought that Alexandra's lack of enthusiasm in this video was due to just being an innately boring person. Turns out, she just felt awkward talking about her wedding with her one boyfriend in front of her other boyfriend. I thought it was weird how little Alex talked to Ned in this, and how a lot of the time she just stood there and laughed. Now, everything is really obvious. Overall, fans found it hard to watch as both parties were supposed to be in committed relationships, and some were upset. How psychotic can you be to be in a video about your mistress's bridemaid dresses for her upcoming wedding to her partner of over a decade and be completely unfazed? But viewers swore Ned and Alex's guilt wasn't limited to flushed cheeks, silence, or hidden glances. It was present in laughter, in gestures now viewed as insincere. My throat's small. <laughs> oh, okay. And in physical contact, oh, it's kinda nice. that went just a little too far. But however seemingly inappropriate their behavior was, or direct the callouts, you're both such liars. <laughs> no one moment with Alex had caused Ned to look as visibly uncomfortable as a segment from Megan Rinks's podcast Don't Blame Me in 2018. It started when a caller phoned into the podcast. About six months ago, I entered a relationship with a married man. The caller said that while the man she was seeing was in an open relationship with his wife, the caller had fallen for him but wanted their relationship to be exclusive. Should I stop things before it gets to that point? Should I sit down and have this conversation with him? Um... All the while, Ned fidgeted from his foot to his hands. But after seemingly being lost for words... Because my automatic response is to be like, I don't believe you, and I think that you're lying to your spouse. Mm. And stingy with eye contact... I don't believe monogamy is for everybody, and I also don't believe that one person will necessarily make you want to be monogamous. Ned did offer the caller some advice. And it's it's unfair to ask that person to change. Yeah. Um, if it just to fit what you want, you have to respect their choices as well. Perhaps it was just an off day. After all, Ned wasn't nearly as rattled on a March 2020 episode of The Tripod when a woman emailed asking for advice on pursuing an office relationship with a coworker seven years her senior. In fact, Ned seemed to find the situation almost humorous. Inter inner office romance, while frowned upon by PR is inherently mm, HR. <laughs> oh yeah, by HR, sorry. <laughs> PR, it can be a big win. A big of course, little did Ned know that over two years from this time, his inter-office romance would prove to be both an HR and PR nightmare. Nor did Zach, although he was able to foreshadow the dangers and power dynamics. And if he is someone who is directly over you, maybe it's not the best idea because mm -hmm. you don't want to yeah. mess that up. Still, Zach couldn't deny the allure of an in-office courtship. <laughs> There's something about like the naughtiness of like, oh, we're coworkers, we shouldn't, that makes it sexier. And neither, it seemed, could Ned. You're talking about like that forbidden love oh, factor. Yeah. But maybe Ned was just out of his wheelhouse talking about the relationships of others. After all, most of the advice Ned gave centered around his own seemingly picture-perfect marriage. Like, what's your number one secret to a great relationship? Mutual admiration and respect. Yeah. Uh, as well as communication. As long as you work at things, there's nothing you can't overcome. In fact, when the news of Ned's affair finally started circulating the internet, one fan recalled meeting the Try Guy and his wife when they hosted a panel on the ethics of good relationships. The talk had taken place at Santa Clara University in February 2020, where Ariel and Ned were positioned as a relic of the good old days of relationships. We have been together for far longer than the Try Guys have been around. Before Tinder, hookup culture, and Photoshop poisoned the dating pool. My understanding of ghosting is when you're talking to somebody online or something like that, and um, uh, and then you just decide that you don't want to, <laughs> that you don't want to talk to them anymore. Looking back on the panel, fans couldn't help but feel duped. I can't even comprehend how he felt holier than thou to literally make this his personality career. Was he not thinking about the consequences? Another viewer commented, anyone who tries to convince the world so much of something is usually the opposite in reality. 
But there was another feeling underlying this anger, pain. After all, it wasn't just the perception of Ned that altered with hindsight, so had the internet's view of his marriage. As one viewer commented, the way I'm hurting for this woman I don't even know. It's possible this pain is the emotion that fueled the virtual outrage over Ned's affair, and continues to guide internet sleuths as they search for answers amid the rubble. To see something treasured turn to dust is an experience that sticks with a person, and it's one the internet can't seem to get past. Were there clues of Ned's affair hidden in Try Guy's content? Ned Falon sucked. <laughs> he sucked. He brought shame to the name Food Daddy. Were faceless sources being honest with their allegations, or were they just looking for their chance to stir the pot? It could be that pieces of the truth are drifting through cyberspace. But without solid evidence, completing the puzzle remains a hopeless task until someone involved comes forward. This is the story of Ned Fulmer, the former Try Guy who hasn't been let out of the hot seat just yet. 